This is about three musical dreams I had all in one night. And the background music is violin solo. And I will link that in the description box. It sounds a lot like what I heard in the second dream, which I will explain. In the first dream, I was in a house with per, perhaps an older lady and a younger one. I went into a room by myself and I started to purposely float around the room. I then started to sing that awe sound, just awe, 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 that's all I did, and it was beautiful. It sounded like the Gregorian monks chant, only without all the creepiness. This was not the first time I've had a dream where I was floating and singing, but it is the first time that I was inside a house. Mostly I'm just outside. In the second dream, I was walking down a hallway and there were people far behind me, but I was alone. I heard this violin play and I just enjoyed the acoustics of the quiet hallway as I was walking. It sounded very much like this song that is playing and I know for sure that the end notes in the song are the same. It was just, it's uncanny how much that sounded like this. And I'll link that song, like I said. In the last dream, I was in a small auditorium with a crowd listening to an orchestra. One violinist started to play and it was beautiful. In fact, it was so beautiful that I started to cry. The man that was playing the violin was very handsome, but my mind just focused on the music. Now, the interpretations are, I believe this points to what's happening now, which is the bride's calling out for her bridegroom, the bridegroom is calling back, and the bridal uh, party or the bridegroom party is getting ready to shout. If we read Psalm 108, verses one through three, we read this. My heart, O God, is steadfast. I will sing and make music with all my soul. Awake, harp and lyre, I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples. Well, that's what we're doing now. As the bride, we are singing praises to our bridegroom. I was lifted in this dream. Uh, I was floating around the room, but I believe it points to being lifted into a different spiritual realm when I was singing. I was floating around the room and humming this most beautiful song. Now, I have a devotional book I read every night, and it's called Jesus Calling. I know many of you read this book. But on the date of July 4th, this is what it says, and these are words from the Lord. When you worship me in spirit and truth, you join with choirs of angels who are continually before my throne. Though you cannot hear their voices, your praise and thanksgiving are distinctly audible in heaven. Your petitions are also heard, but it is your gratitude that clears the way to my heart. Okay, so our voices are distinctly audible, no matter how bad we sing. And so I believe that that's what was happening in this first dream. God hears us quite clearly in heaven. So imagine how Jesus feels when his bride sings to him. Doesn't matter if we can carry a tune or not, we are individually heard in heaven. In the second dream, I'm walking leisurely down the hallway and the acoustics are marvelous to hear the violin song that plays. I believe that Jesus is calling to us now, letting us know he is almost here as he plays for each one of us individually, although as the bride, we are one with him. Again, in Psalm 108, verses four through six, I read this. <clears throat> For great is your love, higher than the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Save us and help us with your right hand that those you love may be delivered. He wants us to hear him. Finally, in the third dream, I was with others in an auditorium. There was an orchestra, but I hear the violinist playing this beautiful solo. This violinist stood out because he had no shirt on and the pants that he wore were a shiny silver. His hair was platinum blonde and he was very handsome, but I did not focus on that because I was so engrossed in the music. The musician was playing so furiously that one of the strings on the violin had busted. Also, as the music was pulsing, it was just fast back and forth, the neck of the violin appeared to take in air and let it out as if it was breathing. After the music was done, we all left the auditorium in the dream and the woman, a woman looked at me and said, you told us he was coming and you did not disappoint. 
Now, as I explained the description of this violinist, Numbers 10, 2 and 3 says this, Make thee two trumpets of silver, of a whole piece shalt thou make them, that thou mayest use them for the calling of the assembly and for the journeying of the camps. And when they shall blow with them, and all the assembly shall assemble themselves to thee at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. Well, I think you know where I'm going with this. These, these shiny silver pants are, to me, they are interpreted as trumpets. The trumpet call is coming. This, uh, even though it was a violin, I still believe that they were pointing to that sound when we hear when our bridegroom calls us. Also, the bridal or the bridegroom's party, they make a lot of noise, according to Matthew 25. And the noise that's going to come to us starts in the heavens. The heavens start first. That's why we're going to hear even cracking in the sky when Nibiru gets close. That's going to be hard to be excited at that time, but that's what we are to be. We are not to fear because he's coming. This is how he's going to call for us. In this dream, this man is shirtless because Jesus wants us to see his heart. His instruments are breathing like the Holy Spirit who calls us. In Zephaniah 317, we read, the Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. Jesus is about to take his bride on a journey and will call us. We will need to walk through the door to our transformation, and then we will live happily ever after.